What's good, YouTube? This is your boy, the R, the E, the double L, two, G. Giving you my picks for week three of the NFL season 2012. My record last week was 11 and four. Yes, I had the Packers to beat the Bears. Yes, I had the Eagles to beat the Ravens. And yes, I had the Falcons to beat Denver. How about that? Week two, the referees was Acting foolish once again. Couldn't find the flat. Throw the bean bag. Throwing people off. Teams starting to fight each other. Coaches trying to get at the reps and all of this. If the professional referees will come to a clean agreement, everybody in the NFL will be happy again. Right now, teams that should be winning are losing, and teams that should be losing are winning. Yes. Let's give it our week three picks. Thursday Night Football, we got the Giants at the Panthers, I got the Giants to beat the Panthers in Carolina. Each team coming in 1-1. One and one. Giants should not have beaten Tampa Bay, but they beat themselves Tampa Bay. And Panthers, no problem with the Saints, but the Giants, I have to beat the Panthers. At the Buccaneers at the Cowboys. Cowboys getting womp womp in Seattle and Tampa Bay once again losing to the Giants. I got the Cowboys in their home opener to beat Tampa Bay. Then we got the Rams at the Chicago Bears. This is my upset pick of the week. Sam Bradford and company looks like they got it together and their Bears hopefully they can get themselves together because right now they have a quarterback don't feel so confident about himself. With that said, my upset pick of the week, Rams over the Bears. The 49ers are at the Vikings. 49ers are too tough right now. I might even want to pick that 49ers over the Vikings. The Chiefs at the Saints. Each team 0-2. Sean Payton needs his team. The Saints need Sean Payton because without Sean Payton, the Saints are going to be a very lousy football team, but they're playing the Chiefs, Ron Cornell, Matt Castle. This should turn out to be a womp womp of a game for the Saints to come back to beat the Chiefs. The Bengals are at the Redskins. Redskins, I have to beat the Bengals. No ifs, ands, or buts. RG3 will do his thing. The Bills are at the Browns. Browns looking for their first one of the season. Not going to get it, even though Trent Richardson did rush for his first career touchdown as the Brown, the Bills, to beat the Browns in Cleveland. The Jets are at the Dolphins. The Dolphins whipping it up against the Raiders. Reggie Bush will continue that domination that he did with the Raiders against the Jets. And their defense ain't no time what's going to happen. I got the Dolphins to beat the Jets in Miami. The Jaguars at the Colts. Colts win their first game of the season at home for the first time since 2010. I believe this is going to be a tight match. Andrew Luck better be on his luck against Blaine Gabbard. He's going to have one of those kinds of games for the Jaguars. And I got the Colts winning the second straight at home. By beating the Jaguars in Indianapolis. The late game, the Falcons are at the Chargers, each team coming in 2 and 0. Chargers look good against the Chiefs, and the Falcons, you know they were ready to face those Broncos on Monday night. Different game, different approach. Philip Ryan gonna have a great game. Matt Ryan, he's gonna be okay, but when it's all said and done, the Chargers will have given the Falcons their first loss of the season. At the Steelers, at the Raiders, Raiders is just not looking good right now. Carson Palmer still trying to find that leash to give the Raiders their first win of the season. But with Ben Robertsburg and company coming to their town, I don't know about all of that. So I got the Steelers to beat the Raiders in Oakland. The Houston Texans are at the Denver Broncos. Texans 2-0, and, oh, and of course you know the Broncos losing to the Falcons. Houston, there is a problem. Denver is your opponent. Peyton Manning is not going to let what the Falcons did to him overlap to what he can possibly do to the Texans. 
Manny is going to be back up on his game. I got the Broncos as my wild card team to beat the Texans in Denver. The Philadelphia Eagles are at the Arizona Cardinals. Each team is coming into this game 2-0. Mike Vick versus Kevin Cobb. They know each other very well, but it's all about who wants it bad. Mike Vick and the Eagles or the Cardinals and their defensive team. This is the same Cardinals team who beat and upset the Patriots at Foxborough. The Eagles will beat the Cardinals in a thriller in Arizona. Sunday Night Football is the Patriots at the Ravens. Ravens losing a close one in Philadelphia by one. Patriots lose to the Cardinals by two. Who wants it more, Brady or Flacco? Yeah, Flacco. Because Flacco seemed like he got Sacco in Philadelphia. He's not going to let the Patriots defense do him in. I think their no huddle offense will come back and the Ravens will go on to beat the Patriots in Baltimore. And on Monday night football, it's the Green Bay Packers at the Seattle Seahawks. Packers winning their game against the Bears and Seahawks winning big against the boys of Dallas. Rashawn Lynch is going to continue that he had of a game with the boys and pretty much the Packers will be looking for that and Aaron Rodgers is probably going to have a hell of a time of that Seattle defense. I got the Seattle Seahawks to beat the Green Bay Packers in the Great Northwest. So my upset pick is the Bears to lose to the Rams and my wild card team the Texans to lose to the Denver Broncos. So those are my picks. What are yours? Post your picks, your video comments, or whatever. Thanks for watching. Let's go Eagles! 3-0 at the end of week 3. I'll see y'all next week.